So Angle and Vincent Austin, they've all retreated now. It's back to their locker room. And Angle says, what's the deal with Tori Wilson? You should be thinking about Booker T. And Austin snaps, Booker T, Booker T, Booker T. I'm sick of hearing about Booker T, Booker T. He rants and rants and rants, and he storms out of the room. And Vince says, Kurt, I want to make sure you got Steve Austin's back. And Kurt says, he doesn't need my back. He's stone cold Steve Austin. So Austin comes out for a promo. He's sick of hearing about Booker T, this Booker T, that Booker T. I know you're here. I can sit in this ring and insult you all night. But if you've got one gut, if you've got one shard of self-respect, I'll give you 10 seconds to come out here and look into the eyes of Stone Cold Steve Austin, the World Wrestling Federation Champion. So he counts to 10. Booker T doesn't come out. But then before he can really say or do anything else, Taz departs the commentary desk and gets into the ring. It's Taz. They're in New York. There's a buzz. And Austin turns around, not sure what to make of him at first, and then just says, unless Booker T got real short and real fat real fast, you ain't Booker T. Wow. Mm. And Taz doesn't blink. He says, maybe you should worry about what's going on here in the WWF. Maybe you should apologize to my partner, my friend, Michael Cole, for beating his 160-pound ass. Austin refuses. So Taz threatens to beat an apology out of him. Maybe just beat him for the WWF title right here and now. Cole is trying, mostly not to antagonize Austin, but he can't help but cheerlead Taz a little bit. So Austin says, look, I will defend this title anytime, any place, but not tonight. And he boots Taz, and because he's a heel, he doesn't do the stunner. He just lays him out with a belt shot. And, well, it's Taz in New York, and Austin beats the holy shit out of him for a while. Beats him and beats him and beats him and beats him. And then, I know you said earlier, Brian, this invasion was dead. And I understand why. And, like, the seeds were planted. But when he's, when Austin is beating down Taz and the New York crowd starts to chant Booker T's name. And then Goldberg. Yeah. It wasn't dead yet. It wasn't dead yet. Well, it wasn't de dead yet. But we have the problem that they refused to buy out Goldberg's contract. That is true, but so, the fans... I mean, the fans are chanting for a guy, and this yes. fucker who's making all this money is too tight yes. to, to bring him in for his invasion. And then, after the whole fucking thing gets all fucked up and dies, yeah. then he brings him in. That did happen, yes. He puts a wig on him. Yeah. yeah. So, Austin destroys Taz. He's uh, threatening Cole, daring him to get in the ring. You're going to get your ass kicked anyway. You may as well get in the ring and take it like a man, or try and run, I dare you. Cole goes to leave. Austin starts to berate him, but suddenly Booker T is in the ring. He belt shots Austin. The crew chases Booker away. Uh, Booker flees. He's smart enough to flee and smart enough not to fall for the same trap that uh, O'Hare and Palumbo did. He takes a left and zigzags through the crowd and gets all the way back to the backstage. And, and the place is going nuts. The place is yep. still going nuts for this. It's not dead yet. And Shane is backstage with his limo on his cell phone telling somebody thanks for the tip. He's got a, a, a mole, a spy inside the World Wrestling Federation. I did not notice that. Nicely done, Vince. Yes. And Booker T comes sprinting out. They jump into the limo, and the limo peels out, and that's the end of the show. But let it be known. And they're going into Tacoma. The invasion as a whole, while not perfect, was still working. And good Lord, Booker T was over. Mm -hmm. You know, what's funny, too, is, is looking back at this, I mean, this whole segment started out it was just playing off what happened when when steve austin beat up michael cole and so to get something this week taz has got to stand up for his broadcast partner but what actually happens and i don't think they could have possibly planned this because plans changed dramatically oh, after yes. Tacoma. but this invasion gets so fucked up in the next three or four weeks that at the last second, they have to add ECW. Yeah, right. Which, of course, plays into the whole deal with Taz, even though they didn't mean to. Right. So, yes, be prepared, everybody, for four months, or four weeks, I'm sorry. The thing barely lasts four months. The WCW invasion barely lasts four months. It's over by Survivor Series. Hmm. So, Monday is the famous show in Tacoma. That's next, right? Or was this wrong? Yeah. Next this next SmackDown? Ones. Yes. This was SmackDown. The okay. next one is the Tacoma Raw. Next one is Tacoma Raw. And boy, the is infamous Tacoma Raw. As Craig noted, they killed the town. Yep. It kills the invasion. Everything goes all to hell. They change every plan that they had. 
and they fuck it all up to such a degree that they have to change everything right before the invasion pay-per-view. That pay-per-view still does 775,000 buys. 775,000 buys! And they further fuck it up from there. And An incredible come- story. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.